Prime Minister Anuradha reached Kundave's palace. When the princess saw him, she stood up and bowed. May you attain the best husband in valour and character and live a long life. First Minister Anuradha blessed that. Sir! Why do you make such a blessing at this time? Said the princess. I said a blessing that this old man knows. What other blessing do you ask for, mother? Everyone is worried about my dear father's health condition. The whole country is worried about Arulma's Hivarma. But I don't see any concern about that in your gentlemanly face, mother. I am born in a brave clan. Are you telling me to cry about danger like everyone else? I will not say that for a day. I am only asking the princess to comfort unheroic people like me. Acharya. Shall I console you? Even if the world turns upside down, you are the ones who have a steadfast heart. You disturb me like that, mother. Those Purutha girls should be passing their time happily in dance songs and you see what a disaster has happened because you meddled in royal affairs. Alas! What fault is this? In what royal matter have I interfered? What mischief has I done? I have said that Pawnee's rich man should stay in Sri Lanka for some time. Against that, you sent a message to your brother to leave immediately. Who will listen to this old man's words against your will? Have you seen the accident that has happened? The sea has taken away the prince who was the eyes of the people of Cholanadu. Not long ago, this palace you saw the people gathered at the gate and protested. Such confusion is going on all over the country today. You are not the cause of this Alilakalila, mother. Why do you say that Aroma's Hivarman left Sri Lanka after seeing my letter? Don't you know that Palyavatare sent two ships full of soldiers and brought the prince as a prisoner? I know, mother. I know. Besides, they can make the slayers responsible for the fate that has now befallen Pawnee's Selvan. Both the ships they sent have been wrecked. If they say the prince set out for your straw, who can deny it? Sir! How did they know I sent the straw? How did the pickpockets know? You have asked a good question, mother. Do we only know? The whole world knows. The emissary you sent was first imprisoned by our soldiers in Sri Lanka. So everyone in Sri Lanka knows. Everyone in this country knows through the doctor's son who went with him to Kadakare. What you did in secret has been exposed so far. It is because of the sky that the women our elders have told us not to interfere in the affairs of the state. Kundave stood stunned for a while. She didn't know what to say in response. The Prime Minister has covered himself well. There must be truth in what he says. When this thought appeared, she became angry with the hero of Vinarkula. He is capable of heroic deeds. But has the matter been made public and spoiled? Look at him and rebuke him well. Thinking thus, he remembered that he had been imprisoned by the order of the First Minister. What a nuisance he is causing me trouble. Shouldn't it have been idle for a while? If the doctor's son had something to say, should he have jumped from the top floor and started a fight? Sir! I will make a request. You must fulfill it with a big heart. Goddess! Command! What is your word in this kingdom? By the time you got to the palace gate, two people were fighting. You ordered them to be imprisoned. What they have done is a great crime. They started fighting in front of the queen's eyes in the palace, great fiend. And at what time? At a time when a large crowd was in a rage. What kind of accident would have happened if people who did not know the reason had also participated in the fight? Like a small spark destroys a forest, riots and chaos would have resulted in the whole country. Yes, sir. They have committed a great crime. Yet I beseech them to pardon one of them and set them free. Who is that blessed one who deserves the princess's grace? He is the messenger I sent to the island of Ceylon. It's like the fruit slipped and fell into the milk. Why do you say that? I wanted to imprison that messenger myself. Here he is easily caught. For what? For what crime? Mother. He is accused of a terrible crime. What is that? 
that it was he who threw Pawnee's wealth into the sea and drowned it. What despicable words! Who accuses so? Many allege so. Parthibendra, who carried the prince on board, says so, the Palyavatarayas say maybe. I doubt it too. Master! Beware! Do you suspect that I have sent a murderer to capture my brother and leave him alone? Not a day, mother. You sent him thinking he was your trusted messenger. Could it be wrong? Could he be one of the changelings? No, Aditha Kari Kalan sent him to help me. He wrote that he could be trusted completely. Couldn't Aditha Kari Galan have been deceived too, princess? Couldn't he have been changed along the way? When I came here, the accusation of one fell on my ears. The one below accused the one above. What is it, mother? The one standing above is the messenger sent by my Damayan. The mighty Vandiyadeva who came from the monkey clan. The one standing below is Pinyagapani, the son of Veda Yadava. The son of Veda Yadava accused Vandiyadeva of being one of the evildoers, what ignorance! Why not, mother? He can't stay for a day, he escaped from the custody of the Palyavatare. The Palyavatare sent a lot of men and did Brahma Prayathan to recapture him. How did he get the Pavur signet ring, mother? That deceitful demon, Mayamakani, venomous serpent, please forgive me, Ilayarani of Pavur gave him the Amothera. I'm glad you know that. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. That mighty warrior isn't one of the Pavatareas. But maybe he's the one of the Queen of Pavur. How can that be? I will tell you how. Vandiyathevan, the private messenger you sent to Sri Lanka, met the Queen of Palyavar outside the Tanjore fort at the Palak. Then he received the signet ring. Then he met her inside the fort in the palace of Palvur Palace. He was hidden in the treasure dungeon by the young Queen of Palvur and sent out to you. She knew he was going to bring a lie. On his return from Ceylon they met at midnight in the ruined Pandian palace on the banks of the Arakandra river. Vandiyathevan still has the signet ring of Palyavar after that. What do you think of all this, mother? Do you still have perfect faith in your messenger? Kundave's heart was now truly confused.